medium is a hypertext markup language then why we are going to use this in order to build or in order to create a website img is a name of a tag which is we are going to use in order to insert an image into the html or to the web page most of you will going to make a mistake here while closing the tags of html so you are supposed to use forward slash it is not backward slash when the server application is readily available in order to satisfy the requirement of a client then that process is considered as what web hosting everybody a warm welcome to one and all welcome to the revision class on chapter 17 that is web designing i am rohini ts lecturer department of computer science vidyashram pre university college temple of excellence mysuru so in our today's session we'll discuss about this chapter 17 that is web designing so before the important questions and most frequently asked question let me tell you the marks distribution of this chapter so from this chapter you are going to get one mark one question that is for one mark and two mark one question will be there that is for two marks and you are going to get one three mark question that will be for three marks so you no need to worry about the five mark question totally you are going to get three questions from this chapter and totally it will be for six marks so you have to be very conscious regarding one mark two mark and three mark from this chapter no need to worry about five mark question so let me get into the today's session that is regarding the most frequently asked question with respect to one mark here so that we'll see the first question what is the use of html so as we all know that html is a hypertext markup language then why we are going to use this in order to build or in order to create a website so that websites will be a collection of web pages we'll see the next question write any one tag used in table and its meaning so they are asking you to write the tags which is related to the table so in the table we are going to have a table row table data will be there table header or heading will be there so you have to mention any one of that tag along with its meaning so i'm taking tr that means table row td table data and we have th that is table header or heading so out of this you can write any one tag we'll see the next question here define web scripting what do you mean by web scripting here so the process of creating and embedding scripts in a web page is known as web scripting so if you are including any script in a web page then we are going to call that as a web scripting so this is most frequently asked question from this chapter so it's just to ease your for definition so you can score easily from this chapter and then we'll see the next question which tag is used to insert an image in a html so which tag we are going to use we are going to use a tag called image so if i wanted to include a image with that uh, image tag then i have to use a attribute called src that is source so image source what you are supposed to write then image tag we are going to use so don't write image so in this we are uh, just need to mention the accurate uh, tag name here so img is a name of a tag which is we are going to use in order to insert an image into the html or to the web page we'll see the next question name the tag which is used to create hyperlink in html so which tag we are going to use in html to create a hyperlink for example already you all familiar with browsing in a web browser right so we are all going to surf there so when you are going to see one word called uh, which will be in blue color along with underline so if i just click on that that will surely going to take me to another web page that is what hyperlink we are going to call so then which tag i am supposed to use in order to use or in order to create that hyperlink in a html that is anchor tag so we are going to have the tag called a so this is the anchor tag and hyper reference h reference is an attribute for that so after that if i am going to put equal and if i give the link of that particular web page then uh, if i click on the text of this page will going to take me to that page so which tag we are going to use that is anchor tag with this a so which will be in angular bracket next question expand html what do you mean by html here hypertext markup language so when you are writing one mark question that to related to abbreviation write the first character as a capital case always okay so hypertext markup language next expand xml how we are going to write this xml so they are asking x 
M as well as L. So that is extended markup language. HTML is hypertext markup language and XML is extended markup language and also you can expect one more question related to DHTML that is dynamic hypertext markup language. So these are the abbreviations which will going to be important from this chapter. So now we'll see about the two and three mark question. So here most frequently like uh, we no need to discriminate between two and three mark questions. So we are just need to concentrate on the topics whether they're going to ask you for uh, two marks or maybe for three marks. So you need to concentrate on the topic. So here I have some of the important concepts that can be asked either for two marks as well as for three marks. We'll see the first question. Give the general structure of HTML program. So you have to write a structure here. What is the first tag I'm supposed to take? That is root tag. Which will be the root tag here? That is HTML. So under that HTML root tag, we have head. So no need to close the head right now. Within head, I have a title. So I need to give the title for my web page. Then I have to use this title tag. So then how we are going to close any of the tag in a HTML? So we have to use angular brackets here. So within that angular bracket, I need to write forward slash. Most of you will going to make a mistake here while closing the tags of HTML. So you are supposed to use forward slash. It is not backward slash. So you have to use forward slash along with the name of a tag and then close the angular bracket. So that title and give the title after that close the title. So then now I wanted to close this head tag. Then we have a body tag. So within the body tag, we are going to write the actual code. That means uh, how my web page must look like. So within that, I'm going to have some of the tags which is related to body of a HTML document. Then we have to close body tag. Later on, I have to close the last tag that is forward slash HTML that indicates closing of this HTML tag. So this is how the structure of this HTML will going to look like. Then what about this HTML? So this tag encloses the complete HTML tags or a documents and mainly comprises of document header, which is represented by head and closing of that head tag. So on the document body, which is represented by body slash body tag. That means opening and closing of body tag will be there and opening and closing of head tag will be there in the HTML. So in the head, what we are going to write in the head tag, it will going to represent the document header so that which can be other in HTML tag like title, link, etc. So I can include those things in the head tag. Then in the title tag, it will going to be used inside the head tag in order to mention the document title. So in the body tag, so we are going to represent the complete uh, documents body which keeps other HTML tag like it may include paragraph, break and it will going to have a heading tag. So this is how the structure of HTML uh, document will going to look like. We'll see the next question. That is question number two. Very, very important concept. Very, very important question. I can say this will be the sure short question from this chapter. So this is most frequently used question. So what is web hosting? Mention any two web hosting methods. So the definition of web hosting will be for one marks. And if you have mentioned any two web hosting methods, that will be for two marks. So we'll see what is the definition of this web hosting. So web hosting means the hosting of web server application on a computer system through which electronic content on the internet is readily available to any web browser client. You just imagine you are a client and you have one server. Okay. So the client will going to approach the server with the help of some browser. So I'm going to use Google Chrome. I'm going to use Opera in order to get some information over the internet. So when the server application is readily available in order to satisfy the requirement of a client, then that process is considered as what web hosting. So that web hosting is a hosting of web server. So we are uh, initiating this web server application on a computer system through which electronic content on the internet. So in the internet, what are the electronic content e-documents that we have? So this will going to fetch from that and it will going to satisfy the requirement of a client through which electronic content on the internet is readily available to any web browser client. So this is the definition of this web hosting. Then what are the types of web hosting we have? So we have free hosting, virtual or shared hosting, dedicated hosting and we have collocation 
hosting very very important question most frequently asked question for three marks it is so or else if they are just asking you to mention it will be for two marks whether it is two or three marks but this question is very very important don't skip this question learn its definition along with its types so it has free hosting virtual or shared hosting dedicated hosting and we have a collocation hosting next question give the usage of following tax in html so they have asked only two questions so then it will be for one mark and other question will be for another one mark so here bg color bg in the sense what background background color why we are going to use background color tag in a html so the html bg color attribute is used to set the background color of an html document so if i wanted to give a background color for my html element then we are going to use this bg color tag with a body tag so this bg color is an attribute of a body tag next we have a br so that indicates what line break so this break html element produces a line break in a text so then when we are going to use this br tag uh, when we are writing a poems or when we are writing any address so when you wanted to have a division of lines when you feel the division of lines is more significant or mandatory at that time we have to use this break tag i hope you understood regarding this question let me move to the next question write the features of dhtml so already i have told you regarding this dhtml that is dynamic dynamic hypertext markup language so somehow it is a extended version of html so then what are the features it will going to include it has only four points and surely it will be as for three mark question so so if they just asking you to mention write any two features of dhtml then there will be a possibility of asking this question for two marks then what are the features we have so i tell you one thing structure of html and what is web hosting its types and this features of dhtml are three mandatory question that you are not supposed to skip from this chapter okay so now we'll see the features an object oriented view of a web page and its element what is the second point we have cascading style sheet that is in short it will be css and layering of content so one layer will not going to affect the content of another layer and also programming that can address all or most page element last one dynamic fonts it will going to allow us to take dynamic fonts so if we have more fonts then there will be more efficiency in the web page so these are the features that we have in a dhtml so these four points are important in order to get three marks important question moreover learn these points we'll see the next question discuss any three resizing text tags in html so you just imagine i have a normal text i just wanted to resize it either it can be increase or it can be decrease then what are the tags we are going to use so any three in the sense what each tag will going to carry one mark so if i have written three tags then that will be for three marks here so what is the first tag i have i have big small h1 and h6 what this big tag will going to do so uh, within that big for example big ye yeah. then if i close this big tag what is the use of it will say increase the size by 1 so you just imagine this is the size of this ye yeah, and it will going to increase by 1 that's it okay same thing small so this decrease the size by 1 so it will be like uh, this then h1 text then that is what header 1 write the text in biggest heading so if i use that it will be like this then h6 that will be the last one among this h1 to h6 so this header 6 write the text in smallest heading it will be like this for example if i include h1 it will be like this h2 then it will be like this h3 will be like this h4 h5 then h6 so the value that font of this particular text will going to be decreased one by one as the number increases so these many resizing tags that we have in a html so out of these four you can write any three or as you can write uh, h1 h2 h3 up to h6 apart from that we have a big and small
we'll see the next question question number 6 write the advantages and disadvantages of html so we'll see what are the advantages html document browser interface are easy to build it will be easy for the interface then it is easy to learn so we are only dealing with the uh, tags so if i get to know what tag will going to do what thing then it will be easy for me in order to learn what is the next point there are some specialized structures in html so we have some of the specialized structure in html these are the advantages so now we'll see what are its disadvantages so it is a weak presentation tool and it is a weak markup tool and it is very instable so that uh, these are the advantages and disadvantages of this html we'll see the next question that is question number seven what is that mention any three text formatting tags so i just wanted to format my text then which are the tags that we are going to use so here we have a b that indicates that it will going to define bold text so whatever the text that we are going to give will going to be bold and we have em that uh, defines the emphasized text then we have strong that defines the strong text then we have sub that is what subscript okay so it defines the subscripted text we have ins so that defines inserted text so then we have i that is related to italic text for example if i am going to write like this abc so then this abc will going to be in italic so it will be slightly to the right side of its location then u that is underline for example if i am going to use uh, any value or any text under this uh, underline tag then it will going to have a underline output so it will going to be look like this okay then we have small that is small text then we have sup that is uh, contradict to this subscript we have a superscript here and also we have del that is deleted text inserted text and deleted text so these are the tags that we have which is related to text formatting tools so these many questions are most frequently asked question from this chapter so apart from this you have to understand what you mean by xml and what are its characteristics what is uh, uh, web scripting what are the methodologies we are going to have with the web scripting and also don't forget to learn about the structure of html and regarding some of the elements of a forms so even those questions are important it's all about today's session i hope you all understood let me meet you in the next session until that keep learning keep on growing thank you